Media ability is the amount of water a filter can handle per square foot of filter area depending upon the exact media that is used. A sand filter has a media ability of 5 to 20 gallons per minute per square foot of filter area. A cartridge filter has a media ability of 0.375 gallons per minute per square foot of filter area. A diatomaceous earth filter or a DE filter has a media ability of 2 gallons per minute per square foot of filter area. This is your flow meter. This tells you how much water is actually moving through the system at any time. We use this to determine whether or not we're meeting the correct turnover rates for the pool. Again, the recommended turnover rates for a swimming pool are once every six hours. For a spa, the recommended turnover rate is once every 30 minutes. Turnover rate is the amount of time it takes to filter an amount of water equivalent to the gallons of water that are in the pool. Normally the water will come in through the top, the filter will be filled about halfway with sand. The sand is what actually catches the debris. As the water passes through the sand bed, beneath the bed of sand you have the laterals. The laterals have little slits in them that are small enough that they keep the sand in the filter, but allow the water to pass through and go back into the pool. Again, it's the sand that catches the debris. Each grain of sand is manufactured to be 0.45 millimeters in diameter, and it's manufactured with coarse edges. Those coarse edges is what catches the debris. In this example, we have a 110,000 gallon pool. We wish to install a sand filter. The manufacturer states that the filter has a media ability of 15 gallons per minute. How many square foot of filter area do we need? First, we calculate the required flow rate. Actual gallons divided by 6, our recommended turnover rate, divided by 60 will give us our flow rate in gallons per minute. 110,000 gallons divided by 6, our recommended turnover rate, divided by 60 equals 305.5 gallons per minute. We require a flow rate of 305.5 gallons per minute to achieve a six hour turnover on a 110,000 gallon pool. Next, we'll take that 305.5 gallons per minute, our required flow rate, and divide that by the 15 gallons per minute the manufacturer states that this sand filter can handle. 305.5 divided by 15 equals 20.36 square foot of filter area. We require 20.36 square foot of filter area in order to handle the 305.5 gallon per minute flow rate that our 110,000 gallon pool needs to achieve a six hour turnover rate. Same pool, 110,000 gallons, installing a sand filter. We require 20.36 square foot of filter area to handle our 305.5 gallon per minute flow rate. The sand filter we are interested in installing has a four foot diameter. How many sand filters must we install in order to handle that flow rate? First, we calculate the surface area of the sand filter. To do that, we use the formula pi r squared, or radius times radius times pi, which is 3.14. Radius is equal to one half of the diameter. Our sand filter has a four foot diameter. Four divided by two equals two. Our filter has a two foot radius. To calculate the square foot of surface area needed, we will take our two foot, multiply that by two, multiply that by 3.14, and that shows us that we need a total of 12, or that we have a total of 12.56 square foot of surface area. So to determine how many filters we require, if we are interested in using the filter with a four foot diameter, we would take the total square foot of filter area needed to handle our 305.5 gallon per minute flow rate, divide that by the 12.56 square foot of filter area available in our four foot diameter sand filter, and that would tell us that we need 1.62 filters to handle 305.5 gallons per minute. Antimaceous earth in the system coats the outsides of the grids. It's actually the DE that does the filtering. The grids are only to hold the diatomaceous earth in place. 
diatomaceous earth can actually pull particles from the water down to four microns in size. Uh, the human blood cell is about eight microns across, so that should give you an idea of the size particle this system can actually remove from the water. In this example, I have a 220,000 gallon pool. I wish to install a DE filter. The filter uses 19 inch round grids. A DE filter can handle two gallons per minute per square foot of filter area. How many square foot of filter area do we need? First, we must calculate the required flow rate. Actual pool gallons divided by six hours, our recommended turnover, divided by 60 will give us our required flow rate in gallons per minute. 220,000 gallons, our actual pool gallonage, divided by six hours, our recommended turnover rate, divided by 60, gives us 611.11 gallons per minute. We need a flow rate of 611.11 gallons per minute to overturn 220,000 gallons of water in the six hour time frame. Next, we'll take our 611.11 gallon per minute flow rate and divide that by the two gallons per minute, our media ability, to determine how many square foot of filter area is needed to handle this flow. 611.11 divided by two equals 305.55 square foot of filter area needed to overturn 220,000 gallons of water in six hours with a 611.11 gallon per minute flow rate. In that same pool, if the filter is using 19 inch round grids and a DE filter can handle two gallons per minute per square foot of filter area, understanding that a DE filter filters from both sides, how many grids would we require? First, we would convert inches to feet. Our grids measure 19 inches round. To convert inches to feet, you take the number of inches and divide by 12. There are 12 inches in a foot. 19 divided by 12 equals 1.58 feet. Our 19 inch grid has a 1.58 foot diameter. To calculate surface area of the grid, we would use the formula pi r squared, radius times radius times 3.14. Radius is equal to one half of the diameter. Our diameter of our 19 inch grid is 1.58 feet. 1.58 divided by two equals 0.79 feet. The radius is 0.79 feet. If I input my radius into the formula of radius times radius times 3.14, that will give me the surface area of one side of my grid. If I multiply that by two, I would then have the square foot of surface area of my entire grid. 0 0.79 times 0.79, radius times radius, times 3.14, which is pi, times two, because my grid has two sides, tells me that one 19 inch grid has 3.91 square foot of surface area. If I take that surface area, and I divide 305.55 square feet by 3.91 square feet, again, 305.55 being the total area required, divided by the 3.91 square foot of each grid, I would see that I require 78.14 grids, which we would round up to 79, a quantity of 79 19-inch grids, in order to overturn 220,000 gallons in six hours with a 611.11 gallon per minute flow rate. In this example, I have a 2,500 gallon spa. I wish to install a cartridge filter. A spa requires a 30 minute turnover rate and a cartridge filter can handle 0.375 gallons per minute per square foot of filter area. How many square foot of filter area is needed? First, I would calculate the flow rate. Actual spa gallons divided by 30 minutes equals the required flow rate. I do not need to divide this number by 60 to convert it to minutes because our turnover rate is already in minutes. So I will take my actual spa gallons of 2,500, divide that by the 30 minute recommended turnover rate, 
and I would see that I require 83.33 gallons per minute to achieve a 30 minute turnover rate in my 2500 gallon spa. Next, I would take my 83.33 gallons per minute that I need and divide that by my media ability of 0.375 gallons per minute and I would see that I need 222.21 square foot of filter area in order to overturn 2,500 gallons of water one time in 30 minutes at a flow rate of 83.33 gallons per minute.